This is the Rolling Stones song they could never perform correctly live. The Rolling Stones have collected a sizable library of classic songs over the course of their career. Even though it would be simple to play the same popular song every time they perform live, Mick Jagger and Keith Richards have developed a habit of playing their best work from their entire careers, blending songs like You Got the Silver with important songs like Satisfaction. Even if it could be beneficial to have a string of well-known songs following each other, a song has never come together live. Conversely, the Rolling Stones have always found immense joy in playing live. The group gained popularity among kids while becoming a real nightmare for any parent who heard them perform while they were appearing in London clubs. They routinely outperformed acts like the Beatles on stage. Jagger and Richards rapidly established themselves as songwriting legends, creating immaculate pop tune after faultless pop melody on songs like As Tears Go By and The Last Time, even if the band eventually pushed past their bluesy roots. Even though Aftermath showed them delving farther into the sonic realms than they were used to, Mother's Little Helper was one of their most fascinating side trips. In a story about a lady who overdoses on drugs after spending the day running around the house, Jagger plays the harsh observer, comprehending the woman's wish to postpone aging and wondering what went wrong for her in the first place. The band started playing the song live, but nothing clicked into place. The framework of the song was standard for the time, but the varied guitar buzzes frequently overshadowed the song's live performance. Charlie Watts and Keith Richards regularly played over one another while the other band members battled with the song's speed. Watts allegedly said that the song works better as a recording than as a proper live song, recalling, We've often tried to perform, Mother's Little Helper, and it's never been any good, never gelled for some reason. It's either me not playing it right or Keith not wanting to do it that way. It's failed every time. That song, in particular, is one of those. We used to try to play that record live even though it is quite impossible to do so. Although the band was known for their live performances, they experimented with music that couldn't be performed live during the next few years, such as the Baroque pop on the album Between the Buttons. But once their Satanic Majesty's request had exhausted all of their hallucinogenic options, the band recognized they needed to return to their roots. The band's reliance on live performances led to songs that felt like living entities on albums like Beggar's Banquet and Sticky Fingers, like the thoughtless groove that keeps stretching on, Can't You Hear Me Knockin'. The Stones' early music was more appropriate for live performances, but Mother's Little Helper works better as a studio album.